Hey guys, Capper here. Today we're just going to do a little driveway work with the tractor front end loader. I'm also going to show you how to use float mode. There's a lot of people that don't realize that they have float mode on the loader. So if you don't have an implement, you don't have a box blade or a land plane, you could do a lot of gravel work with your loader and your bucket. So let's check it out. So here's a look at the washed out area all the way from right here you can see there's waves here not sure how good but so this this whole thing right here is all wavy you got a couple of cuts here you got a big pile of rock there several cuts up in here and they go all the way up this driveway so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna temporarily fix this until I'm ready to go for something permanent. This is a real deep one right up here. Hey guys, Capper here. Uh, today we are gonna do a little bit of loader work with the Coyote. And the reason that I'm gonna be doing it with the tractor is because I believe there's a lot of people out there who uh, have a tractor but they don't have a box blade or a land plane or anything like that and also I believe there's a you know a handful of owners who don't realize what the float mode is so I'm also going to demonstrate that we put this thing in four-wheel drive we are going to be back dragging uphill uh, ideally you'd want to go downhill but all the stone is downhill and I want to get it back uphill um, but real simply what the drag is or I'm sorry what the float is Most every single tractor has it and what it does is it takes your this whole loader here And it and it cuts the hydraulic to it So it just lays on the ground with just gravity and the thing weighs, you know 12 1400 pounds and what that allows you to do is, is when you back drag you could still adjust your dump and your angle all right but the float is floating on the ground and that allows you to, to a follow terrain like this or b you could you could try to cut the terrain by using your dump angle so I'll, let me put this in float mode here So how you do it is you basically jam the loader handle all the way forward. Okay and a quick disclaimer if you've never done float mode make sure your loader is close to the ground because when you slam and engage that float mode with your loader handle it's going to literally slam that whole loader all the way to the ground so if you have it like five or six feet up in the air and you engage float mode your loader is literally going to slam down to the ground violently so when you try and float mode for the first time make sure you have your bucket like you know an inch or two off of the ground and then you'll understand how it works so now it's in float mode but now i'm still hitting the the dump but it's still just the gravity right now of the loader and the more rock you want to pull, the more angle you use. And the less you want to pull, the less you angle it. So you see that it, it knocked it pulled back quite a bit of stone. If you don't want to use float if you need more pressure well that's pretty much a given okay you just you apply a little bit of downward pressure 
at whatever your bucket angle is that you want and then you have more pressure than if you're in float mode. We're going to run this in float mode. I could see that I'm pulling gravel up and that's exactly what I want to do to fill in some of these ruts here. Another example where the float mode comes in handy. I got gravel that washed out into the grass. Okay, let's see if I can show it to you. So we got about a you know a big splotch there. And if you put too much down pressure on with the hydraulics, you could pull up the grass in that. So if you hit your float, then it's just gravity and you got a lot better chance of just pulling the gravel with very little grass. big ruts coming right here to try and pull more gravel. So you can see the ditches are starting to fill in. drag with just a little bit of downward pressure. And not not float mode. You know, you could feel if you're putting too much pressure, you're not going to be able to steer very well because you got too much down pressure and it's also not, you know, if you have too much, it's not good for your loader. But you can get a feel for what's what's too much and what's not after a while. So this is kind of fun using the tractor. how I used to basically have to do you know everything all the groundwork dirt work gravel work with the loader it's coming I mean we're bringing that gravel back up the hill uh, you could try to push it with the four and one blade but I've found that it's just much easier pulling material and keeping it level than trying to push it because what happens is your blade wants to catch 
and then you get you just screw up your your grade by trying to push as opposed to back dragging Gravel's nice and moist. So this should work out pretty good. Another thing I like about this tractor that I haven't mentioned yet is this one, and I know Kubota has this, and I think Farmall does, or Case, is that whenever you push the brake, it engages four-wheel drive. So that was a bonus. I really really didn't pay attention to that it wasn't like a must-have or anything um, it's just a bonus but it's a nice feature 